Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. So today, we are starting out our adventure at the happiest place on Earth. No, not Disney. We're at Bucky's. I had to stop and fuel up. And I needed to get some snacks for the road anyway. And this was the only most obvious choice. Besides, I can go in and get Sarah a little something from the trip. My goodness, this place is packed and crazy. This is what Sarah wants. I'll be honest with you, I envisioned getting some beef jerky from the beef jerky bar over there. There is no way I'm standing in that line. Wow. That was crazy. That was an experience. Uh, got what I came for. Got a little extra surprise for the wife. And uh, now we're back on the road. So, I'm a little early for lunch, but I didn't really eat much breakfast. So, uh, one of the things that I got was this brisket sandwich. And I knew, as soon as I decided I was coming to Bucky's, that I was getting a brisket sandwich. These things are delicious. Leave me a comment below if you've ever gotten a brisket sandwich from, from Bucky's. And uh, do you like to go to Bucky's? Oh, man. Melt in your mouth. I don't have any napkins, I don't think. This is gonna get messy. All right, so we are getting back on the interstate now. Um, you ever notice when you're on a road trip, you get hyper sensitive to every little thing with your vehicle? Um, I know I do, especially. And now, all of a sudden, even though I just fueled up and I know it's probably just normal um i'm getting a strong smell of gas so i'm sure it's nothing but i just get hypersensitive like that when i'm on a road trip i don't know are about one hour away from our destination. We just came through a little place called Spivey's Corners in North Carolina. We are headed to the Woolly Swamp Hammock Hang that's uh, being set up by North Carolina Hammock Hangers. And we were invited to go up there and uh, hang out with them. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We got Random Adventure 2.0 is gonna be there too. So that should be a lot of fun. But uh feels like the last couple days all I've been doing is driving. But this is a beautiful area up here. I love the uh, little old houses and the farm towns and stuff like that. It's a neat area. So I have really enjoyed the drive, but I'm going to be honest with you. I am ready to get there, get set up, and just chill. All right, so we have made it. We uh, are at the Woolly Swamp, and uh, we are in good company. So, Mr. Tony from Random Adventures 2.0 is right here next to us, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna go ahead and get set up real quick, and then we'll meet James, the guy that uh, invited us here, and then uh, maybe we'll just walk around a little bit, see who else is here, meet some new people, and uh, just get ready to have a good time. 
Should be a lot of fun. And tomorrow night, I heard there's a pig roast. <laughs> All right, so we are all set up. Boy, I'm tell you, it is breezy. But that's okay right now. That means it's going to get cold tonight. It's going to be down in the 30s tonight, so I do have my underquilt, my overquilt, and all that stuff. I'll be completely fine. But it is finally time to enjoy this little drink that I got from Cracker Barrel. I've held on to this one. I did drink my other... Uh, root beer but this is my celebratory drink this is the one that uh i got from cracker barrel last night um if you haven't watched that video yet go back and watch it i'll put a link up here in the card you can go back and watch it pretty cool camp behind the cracker barrel um it was actually a lot of fun That's good. So, to me, this tastes like a mixture between a Sprite and a ginger ale. But it's really, it's refreshing. I like it. Well, I guess it's time to quit being a hermit and get up and go meet some people. Let's go. So this place is actually pretty neat. They have these uh, little rustic cabins, essentially little shacks, but they're really neat. Um, this one down here looks really cool. This one is really neat too, and they have a little fire ring around the front of them. It's got a old truck over here next to this one. Actually, it's a pretty cool little place. And as you can see, it's beautiful here. There's plenty of places to set up a hammock should be a good time there's a pond over there so nice now that was a cool start So there is all kinds of cool setups out here. So these guys are the North Carolina hammock hangers. And uh, they have some really nice setups. Some of the guys have rode in on motorcycles. Very, very cool. I do see a uh, hanging high hammocks tarp over here, which is cool. Lots of, lots of nice stuff. So they have a good setup over here. They're, uh, looks like they're making some dinner very nice so we have walked around here and looked at a lot of different setups today and uh saw a lot of cool stuff but i think it's time for us to start getting some dinner going i think tonight we're going to do red beans and rice again with sausage like we did one time before but this time we're going to use andouille sausage i think it's going to be good i think we need to go ahead and go get started on that though all right so tonight for dinner i think we're going to do like I said, some red beans and rice and this uh, New Orleans Andouille sausage. I think that should be really good. So if you guys remember the video I did where I was chasing for section hikers uh, when my buddies hiked the section of the Florida Trail, um, I did this meal and it was delicious, but I did it with a different kind of sausage. And it was a spicy sausage, but it was really good. But I thought that I really should do it with an andouille sausage. So I think that's what we're going to do. Tonight, I'm going to slice this stuff up into thinnish slices. And um, then we'll kind of pan fry those real quick. We'll pull them out. And then I'll cook the uh, red beans and rice with that leftover oil and grease and stuff so I think that should be really good
All right, so now we're going to let that sausage cook down a little bit and create its own grease, and uh, then we'll get that rice going. All right, so I think we have got our sausages cooked enough. We've got some dark spots on them and a little char. That's kind of what I wanted. So we're going to pull those out now. And uh, I'm going to leave the uh, grease in there. I'm going to use that grease to help season that rice. It's not a ton of grease, so it ain't gonna make it like overly greasy, but uh, it'll kind of help season that rice a little bit and give it a good flavor, I think. Well, the trick is to not burn myself up when I'm adding this water to it. All right. <clears throat> Need Three and a half cups of water, it said. So that was two. That's three. That's a half. Now, we're going to let that come to a boil. And uh, then we'll add our rice in there. In the meantime, I think it's about time to use this cup for something else time for a mixed drink and the nice thing about setups like this I've got ice all right so I got my Evan Williams Have to get that. and this time we've got a dr. pepper cherry diet dr. pepper cherry That should be good. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's real good. Let's see how we're looking here. Well, we're almost boiling. You know, I'm going to tell you. I've been pretty surprised with this little Coleman stove. Um, it's fairly fuel efficient. Uh, it uses the little uh, butane gas cartridges. And this is probably the fifth or sixth meal I have cooked on that stove. And I mean like having to simmer things and stuff like that it has actually been really good on fuel and uh i've been fairly surprised with it um i kind of want to get one of the double burner propane stoves um because like tonight for instance i could have cooked the sausage and got the rice going at the same time but I didn't necessarily need to do that. And this is a smaller package, so I don't know. It's kind of a six of one, half a dozen of the other, as they say. Um, but this has worked really good for me so far. But uh, yeah, I've been pretty surprised with uh, how sort of fuel efficient that thing has been. So I think we got us a rapid boil going. Oh yeah. That looks good. We're gonna add the red beans and rice. And stir it some. And then we'll simmer it until it uh, cooks all the juice and stuff out of it. And I think right before it cooks all the juice out of it, we'll go ahead and add that other sausage back to it. And uh, this should be really good. Now, I was talking with Tony earlier, and uh, 
if I didn't say earlier, I don't remember, but Tony, Random Adventures 2.0, is right beside me here. And uh, he was cooking some uh, fish for dinner, I believe, tonight. So maybe we can uh, propose a old school like a uh, lunch trade. Maybe I'll trade him some of this for some of his dinner. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. See how that works out. All right. So I have come over here and caught Tony. As you guys know, <laughs> Tony is a busy guy. He's around and he's always doing stuff. But Tony, what are you making for dinner tonight? Well, I am <laughs> I'm gonna attempt uh, uh, making fish tacos. I got some mahi mahi. Very I think that's nice. How you yeah. Pronounce it. And I just put it in this bag and uh, make. Oh, so that's you're marinating it. Oh, I'm marinating. It. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna. That sounds Figure good. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna cook it on the adventure scuttle. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah, that that's really cool. Yeah, coleslaw for on top. Uh, yeah, that some of that pico dye stuff. Yeah, however you pronounce it, pico de gallo. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got very, it. Very, very cool. So, do you remember back in school uh -huh. when you were at lunch and the kids would kind of maybe trade some of their lunch? Oh yeah. For, yeah. So I would like to propose a possible trade. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> so tonight I'm doing some red beans and rice Ooh, with nice. andouille sausage. Oh, I love Andouille sausage. So maybe yeah. we could I trade can, some I'm rice thinking. for a little bit of the uh, fish taco Absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, because this was two huge fillets, and I just cubed it all up, and it's <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but we so, put uh, lime on it, and then we got the uh, little chili chili lime. Oh, okay, very cool. On it, so that's gonna marinate for a little while. I think that might be a that might be a good trade. <laughs> yeah, that, I, awesome. I think so too. Yeah, I love cool. It. I love well, it. yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. So you actually drove uh, almost the same distance as me. You were like uh, eight eight and a half hours or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we met halfway. <laughs> yeah, literally. So we kind of joked about doing a uh, collab video. When we were in um, Florida. Yeah, doing half like going half and half, but uh. It just kind of worked out that this is yeah. where we're at. So yeah, I thought we would have to do it down in Florida, like <laughs> next year for Hang right. or something like that. I never yep. until we found out that this was. Yep, happening. that's cool. So uh, yeah. yeah, so Tony's got his tarp and hammock set up over there, and as you can see, he's got a setup that goes in the back of the vehicle too, like me. So very cool. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah, also. Left cracker barrels. <laughs> also, he slept at the Cracker Barrel last night, like I did. Right. So. That's a different Cracker Barrel, though. Yes, yes. Um, he was in North Carolina. I was in South Carolina. Yeah. But uh, it's funny. Stitch mentioned that we both had a helicopter fly through our live stream. Oh. That's why people thought okay. that we were at the same Cracker Barrel. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because I was <laughs> shining. I didn't realize yeah. that because yeah. you were doing it about yeah. the same time. About the yours same time. Was a little lighter, lighter in the day. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It might have just been my, yeah. might have just been my phone. That could be. But yeah. uh. But yeah, um, it was kind of funny. Stitch mentioned that we both had like a helicopter fly through, so people thought that we were at the, in the same spot. Right. But yeah, we could yeah. have done a collab there. That's right. We should have done a. We should have done together. a dual live stream together. That we'll would have, have been to. awesome. We'll yeah. Have to. I don't really know how to do. It. I'm not good either. at live streams. We'll figure it out though. <laughs> hey, It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm gonna go oh, ahead cool. and uh, get my stuff finished. I know you still got some stuff to do, but yeah. yeah. We'll uh, do some trading off for food here in a minute. Yeah, sounds like sounds a plan. good. <laughs> See how we're doing here. Oh yeah, that looks good. There's one thing that I realize I forgot. I forgot my sign, my wooden sign that my buddy Brian made me. I forgot that thing. I wish I had remembered it. I could have set it up right here by one of these trees or something. That would have been awesome, but. Oh well, I'll try to remember it next time. I hung it up on my wall so I would remember it. And then I forgot it. Hey, let's sneak around and get a behind the scenes shot of Tony recording. On the scuttle, we'll drop our fish on. Okay, so 
I've got dinner done and uh, got a bowl. I'm going to take over here to Tony see if I can trade him for a taco. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so, the proposed trade, I All have right. a bowl Ooh, of red that. beans and rice with unduly sausage. That looks good. That in looks exchange good. for one of your Absolutely. fish tacos. Yeah, it turned out great. I already ate one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I definitely want to make one. So I think it's going to be I got good. you what right there. All right. I'll scoop it up and Perfect. I just kind of rolled it, you know. And yeah, kind of burrito it. style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. So we've got a taco shell. I'm going to get... few pieces <laughs> smells good oh it tastes good <laughs> Some yeah the only thing the avocado it was hard as a rock so I couldn't use it oh no yeah I Look, tried cutting it but it was like little wet. lime and that's the tide water tartar sauce mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you gotta squeeze it. I squeezed it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks good. Very cool. Oh, don't forget the cabbage. Oh, yeah. That's for a little crunch. Mm-hmm. There we go. That'll be good. All right, here we go. Mm. Yeah, that is really good. Oh, boy. <laughs> good yeah. job who would have thought right <laughs> <laughs> out here you could do that that's right that's good oh, i'm looking forward to biting that <laughs> rice and beans with the andouille sauce yep. i love andouille sauce oh yeah oh look at that steaming oh it's gonna be hot <laughs> yeah mm. yeah it's really good oh yeah it is <laughs> awesome and you did that in that crock pot or, yep. that, or um dutch oven dutch oven yeah wow that's good. <laughs> well, you know what? We could put that in a wrap too. Yeah, we? that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good trade. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs>
thought maybe I'd walk down here and see if there's anybody I know at the fire. Just kind of hang out a little bit because I kind of hate to go to sleep at 8 o'clock. So if I go to sleep at 8 o'clock, I'll be up at 4 o'clock. So I'm going to walk down here and see if there's anybody we know at the fire. <laughs> right. Man, yeah, it's not gonna, yeah, yeah, because he saw one when he was like a little kid yeah. in, in grade school. Yeah. Not torrential rain. What, I, I think what, uh, David was a little. Well, we walked down there and sat around the fire for a little while, and I decided it was time to come back up here and get ready for bed and then I remembered that my beautiful wife sent me this stuff to make cozy coffee so I'm gonna make me a cozy coffee and I'm gonna drink that and then I'm gonna go to bed so that'll be pretty nice have a little warm something in me before I go to bed I still got to set up my hammock and all that stuff so I can probably do that while I'm waiting on this I use it to walk around and yeah, yeah. sometimes it's better than your head on it because you can have it off camera right Should have some coffee here pretty quick. All right, well, we've got the hammock under quilt set up and the over quilt. The only thing I've got to do is get my pillow out of there. I brought a pillow from home, so that should be pretty cozy. My inflatable pillow has bit the dust. So I've got to get another one of those and I'm kind of in the market for one. I um, haven't decided what I'm going to get yet. I've got a few that are on my radar. But I uh, haven't decided which one I'm going to go with yet. But I got a big comfy pillow from home this time. So it should be pretty good. I think our water is almost hot enough. I'm almost out of butane. And uh out of this tank of butane so I was kind of running it out anyway um, I've got plenty more those butane tanks that's the nice thing about those is they're only a few bucks at Walmart so I use it up and it works really good for this situation it's really good so I want to show you something Tony um, so nice he just gave me this so this is an Olight bulb, and uh, it's magnetic on the back of it, so you can just set it up, and uh, the light is so much better off of that than off of the other light that I was using. <clears throat> it um, just a little more diffused, better looking light, so I really appreciate that. That was very, very nice of him. That's, that's what it's about is kind of you know helping each other and and uh it's just it was just really nice anyway I'm ready for this coffee I'm gonna get this uh cozy coffee in me and then I'm gonna put my pajama pants on and my wool socks and I'm gonna climb on my hammock and get a good night's sleep I am glad we went down to the fire though because it's it's 10 o'clock now so I stayed up long enough that now if I go to sleep if I went to sleep right now I would get up probably wake up 6 6 30 in the morning now if I go to sleep at 8 I'll be up at four or even worse 
I'll be up at midnight and then won't be able to go back to sleep. Cheers. That's some good cozy coffee there now. So the cozy coffee tonight was a decaf Folgers. I'm still doing the uh, Folgers decaf with a pack of the Swiss Miss with marshmallows, hot cocoa mix. And I did a Michael's White Chocolate Celtic Irish Cream. And that's what makes a cozy coffee. And it's good. Those owls just started kicking off. That's pretty crazy. They're right here above us. Might be a long night. Alright guys. I've about had all I can handle. I'm putting my night stuff on. i got my sweet pants on. It's kind of chilly. So uh, i got my little beanie on. But I've had all I can handle. I am done for the night. I'm going to crash out. I'll see you guys in the morning. Coffee. Oh, man, that's good. I slept like a log last night, just knocked out. Once I climbed in that hammock, I started to watch a video on my phone, and I bet I didn't last 30 seconds trying to watch that video, and I was like, no, turn the video off, and I just crashed, and I didn't move again. I didn't get up to go pee, I, nothing. I didn't move again until 7.30 this morning. Man, that is the best I've slept in a long time. It was awesome. And it's funny, I sleep in that hammock and I wake up this morning. I know every, a lot of people say that, oh, the hammock makes my back hurt. Not me. I sleep in that hammock. I sleep good. I wake up this morning. And my back feels good. I've just got it set up right, I guess. But man, I slept awesome last night. And I woke up this morning, it was chilly, it's like low 40s. It felt great. 
in my setup. I've got that Jackson Better over quilt, and then I've got that <clears throat> one wind under quilt that's, I want to say it's 50 degree under quilt. I can never remember. But I've had it down into the below freezing, and it's always been fine with me. So I do sleep a little hotter, though. But wow, it was. That was a good night's sleep. And the funny thing is, is I thought it was earlier than it was uh, when I woke up because I thought it was still dark outside because I had slept with these over my eyes. And so <laughs> when I woke up, and I pulled my beanie up over my eyes. I was like, oh wow, I missed the sunrise and all that stuff. Because the sun is rising right over here in front of me. And that would have been so cool. It's clear this morning. It would have been such a pretty sunrise, I bet. But I slept through it. <laughs> but that's okay. It was a good sleep. So I've got to try to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast this morning. So. <clears throat> I've got these Hungry Jack hash browns that I've never done before. I've got these. I did bring some eggs this morning. And then I've got some little smoky sausages. And I don't typically cook a big breakfast like that, but I'm thinking about going ahead and doing that. Because tomorrow morning, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get up and get out of here pretty early in the morning <clears throat> so I might do that this morning I might make me a <clears throat> a big breakfast a mountain man breakfast we're not exactly in the mountains up here but we're in North Carolina so I'll make me a mountain man breakfast So I'm having a little issue this morning. It's just cold enough that the butane in this thing isn't wanting to burn and uh, making it take a little bit of a long time to do this. So Tony said that he might have something that's gonna help me out and uh, get breakfast made. All right, so this is the, uh, it's a fire maple. What is it now? It's a fire maple Saturn stove. Saturn. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that thing looks fancy, don't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's that'll be nice because that's that'll be plenty big for that yeah. frying pan. And what what you can do when you have it all closed in like that, um, it fits your cup. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can do a small cup or or even a big pan. It's meant for both. Nice. Yeah. And it comes in that case. That's that's which very is cool. Like a rubberized case. Yeah, that's very cool. That'll be uh, that'll be real handy for cooking breakfast this morning. Yeah. I actually might need to get one of these to put in my in my kit because this is such a smaller form factor than that stove. It would be much easier to oh yeah transport. Yeah, very very nice. Very cool. Yeah, it packs away well, real good. I appreciate you letting me use it. Oh, Let's, no uh, and then and then the uh, there's legs on the bottom of that too. You, oh, okay. And also uh, ignition. Okay. Very cool. So just just screw this on there. Yeah. Got the regulator right on the. Top. The regulator's built in right there, man. And then the one leg has the uh, automatic start, and it's got oh i see it it's got these two preheat gas tubes so the gas will go through it'll preheat it so that it burns even hotter oh, okay so this will go down to real cold temperatures very cool yeah fire maple saturn we're gonna try this thing out and see how it does yeah. i appreciate you letting me try this no thing problem. out this is gonna be gonna awesome be excited about it yeah <laughs> awesome yeah thanks tony all right so i do have some hot water for the um these hash browns so you got to rehydrate them 
it says I need to fill the hot water to this line and then close it back up and let it set for 12 minutes it says so I think I've got enough hot water here for that <coughs> Just enough. All right, so I'm gonna close that up and I'll let those sit. And then uh, we'll start cooking these little smokies and try out this little fire maple Saturn stove. Set that off to the side. I have a mess on my table here. I'm gonna have to uh, get this thing organized here in a few minutes, but let's see. Next up, let me, I'm going to go ahead and cook those little smokies. No. Next up, <clears throat> I think I'm going to heat me more water for cleanup. That way, while the little smokies are cooking, I can be cleaning up multitasking. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see how this thing works. I can hear it. Oh, wow. It kicked on fast. Let's see how she does. The little fire maple's cool and everything, but can it hold a cast iron pan? So I don't even know that what size this one is. It's uh, this is one that my father had for years and years and years and years. And uh, I think it's a 10 inch, 10 and a half inch maybe. I don't know. But will this thing be able to hold it? <laughs> I'd say so. Me and Tony was just talking about it. It is so windy here. It's chilly this morning, but it wouldn't be nearly this chilly no. if the wind wasn't blowing. So, me and Tony have been doing a good bit of um haggling this weekend uh last night we traded out um red beans and rice for a fish taco and this morning in exchange for letting me use this fire maple i'm gonna cook us some breakfast so i think that was a a pretty good trade so i've got some oil here i'm gonna put a little bit of oil in this pan and uh we're gonna cook up these little smokies and then after they get cooked up good, we'll make <clears throat> some eggs and, or actually I'll probably do the hash browns and then I'll do the egg flask. That way I can put them on top and everything will try to keep everything hot. That's the only problem with it being cold out here is doing everything in the right order. That way everything will kind of stay hot, you know? So, all right, we'll get these little smokies going and get those cooked up. Won't be long, we'll have us a good breakfast. Full disclosure, I have never in my life cooked these before. It may or may not work right, I don't know, but we're fixing to find out anyway. So, I guess we just dump them in there and stir them around and hope they cook right. I am going to add a little bit of the uh, Tony Saturies, I hope I'm saying that right, um, to it and just see how that tastes. It actually recommends adding salt and pepper or some uh, of the ranch seasoning or stuff. So let's just, uh, let's just see how it does. Get out of there. It might make more than I thought. I thought that little container wasn't going to make very many of them, but it might make more than I anticipated. So Tony decided to cook the eggs on the scuttle for us because uh, it's taking a little while for these hash browns to cook. And this way, when the hash browns are done, the eggs should be done. Mm -hmm. It was a good plan. 
All right, so we got a little change of plans again. Um, my setup here is just, it doesn't seem like it's wanting, I think I've put too many in the pan, so it's not really frying them up like I wanted to. And uh, Tony's got the scuttle out, so he is doing a little, uh, little frying of the hash browns on the scuttle there. And uh, so I think that might work out a little bit better for us. I think I just had too much in the pan. That's a good egg. So, I think we're going for the scrambled egg thing. So, if you want to start stirring them, I'll keep adding eggs. Alrighty. How many eggs are you thinking? Four okay or six? I got six. Yeah, we might as well just do them all. Yeah. We have made essentially a. Uh, a like a hash brown scramble bowl kind of thing and uh, I think this is gonna be really good so it was a breakfast collab <laughs> this has worked out really good so we got some hash browns in here we'll get some eggs And then, I think I've got some of the little smokies I heated back up in the cup. That should work out really good. Got the breakfast all done. And I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, black truffle, this Melinda's black truffle hot sauce to it. This stuff is really good. It's the $1 stuff from Walmart. It's really, really good. So, I think it's time... We have worked hard on this breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's time to get a bite, right? Yeah, it is. Record video. All right, here we go. A little bit all of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's real good. That Mel Melinda's is real good. That black truffle hot sauce. It's amazing. It's it's got a little spice to it, but it's garlicky. It's got that truffle flavor mm -hmm. to it. Really good. Yeah, that scuttle did a good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it did. Absolutely. It up. Very good. Breakfast was delicious. Um, Tony has run off to film some other stuff, but uh, I'm still in getting going mode. It's cold. That breeze that's blowing is cold. So I needed another cup of coffee. But Tony gave me this this morning to try. It's Swift Coffee. The uh, Specialty Instant Coffee. And uh, he said it's really good. I haven't tried it. This cold weather is wreaking havoc with my camera batteries. I can't get more than four or five shots out of it before the battery goes dead. It might be just time to replace these batteries. I am trying to uh, upgrade this camera, and I've had a few people donate some money towards that. Um, I'm still a couple hundred dollars away from being able to get that new camera, but <clears throat> if you're interested in helping the new camera fund, um, there's a link to my PayPal in the description. It would be greatly appreciated. But uh, if you would like to support the channel, um, we do have a Patreon that you can join. It's five bucks a month, three bucks a month, or even down to a dollar a month, I think. And um, you get like some other little perks and stuff like that. If that's something you're interested in. If you're not interested in uh, supporting the channel in a way like that, just hit that like button, that subscribe button, all that stuff, and share the videos. All that stuff is great support for the channel. We really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we're working towards getting better camera, some better batteries, stuff like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try out this Swift coffee and see how it is. Tony said it's really good, and it's made uh, locally to him, I think. So, smells good. Mm. <clears throat> 
I'm not going to add anything to it. I just want to see how this coffee tastes. It smells really good. Yeah, that's good coffee. It's got a little of the bitter to it, but not like super bitter, and it's smooth. Yeah, that's a good cup of coffee there. people I think and uh, just see who we can find still got to catch up with James the guy who invited me and uh, let you guys meet him he's a really nice guy all right so we have caught up here with moose man so this is Dave and Dave is how would you say you just kind of run the North Carolina facilitate. hammer yeah you facilitate but uh um, I figured he'd kind of tell us a little bit about their group and uh, maybe a little history on it, like, you know, because I know you said that you didn't really start it, you kind of just took it over, right? Right, or right. brought it back a little bit. And uh, you guys are, this is the first event that you guys have put yeah. on, like this, a structured event like since, this? Since we've restructured. Right, um, very cool. But yeah, North Carolina Hammock Hangers was already a group, and they kind of died out, a lot of people aged out, a lot of right. people retired. And, and do other things and Facebook was kind of new back then and so hammockforms.net was kind of a right. catalyst of those and so we've kind of revitalized it uh, we just want a contingents in North Carolina to sponsor yep. a few hangs just have fun out and out yep. and get so. kind of get people back into uh, getting outside because mm -hmm. you know it's like anything else if you don't use these resources we're gonna lose them they'll turn them into right. apartment complexes or something so yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it's great to get people out doing this kind of stuff, and I don't know about you, but I enjoy the hammock camping more than laying on the ground in a tent. That's just my preference. Yeah, well, there's two sides of it. There's the hammock camping uh, in general is more right. comfortable and kind of neat, but the community, hammock yeah. camping community, is just everybody's caring and wants to do yeah. stuff with you and show you right that's that's the fun thing i was talking to um miss Cher over there yesterday evening and uh that's what i was telling her that uh if you have a question about something ask somebody because people yeah. want to talk to you about it they want to explain it to you right so it's been it's yeah. been cool so uh nothing against tent camping but you no know, you just no don't absolutely see that community they don't just all go together and go yeah, to a it's big just, place and say Hey, let's go right, in, in. it's it's a it's a different community for sure, but uh, yeah, I appreciate your time, yeah. and I'm gonna walk around here and uh, take a look okay. at some other stuff, and uh, but I appreciate yeah, you but, talking to me for a few but, minutes. Yes, and sir, and we're appreciate on Facebook. What you're doing. Yep. Anybody's welcome to look up NC Hammock Hangers. N NC Hammock Hangers, right? Yes, sir. And, okay. Uh, it's a private group now. We were public, but right. Too too much spam, so we I decided understand. to go private. And uh, we come to this is a private farm here, right. campground. And so we also go to state parks or wherever we're invited. Very cool. Right. Awesome, man. Thanks so much. Nice. Couple bridge hammocks here. Here's one of those Amok hammocks. I really want to try one of these. I may try to talk him into letting me try this thing in a little bit. We'll see if that thing will hold my weight, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Looks cool, though. I bet that thing is really comfortable. Look at this patriotic hammock here. That thing is awesome. It's 
So we got Trevor over here with Hanging High Hammocks. I was standing there talking to him for a little while. He's got some of his stuff set up over here. And uh, I'm not going to bother him. He's busy talking to other folks, but very, very nice guy. So if you guys are looking for a hammock or a tarp, I highly suggest Hanging High Hammocks. That's what I use most of the time as far as my hammock. And I'm a big guy, and that thing has held up really well for me. So if you're interested in a hammock, Hanging High Hammocks is a good one. And I'll leave a link in the description for them. Uh, Trevor's a great guy. But uh, I think I'm going to wander over here to our buddy James's camp and uh, see if we can catch up with him. All right, so I finally caught up with him. So this is Mr. James Grady. How you doing? Uh, James is the one that uh, set up this event out here with the uh, NC Hammock Hangers. And uh, appreciate you doing this and inviting me up here. You're welcome, Sean. I'm glad you come up, buddy. And so uh, me and Tony are camped at the other end down there, and we've been having a good time. I've been trying to catch up with James, but he's been on that golf cart running around here delivering firewood and, and just... Uh, meeting and talking with people so i finally got a chance to sit down with him so how long have you been part of the nc hammock hangers i've been since december of this year and uh or last year and uh i started hammock hanging by just looking at your channel and looking at tony's channel okay and, and got me interested in it that's awesome and I, I went on facebook i said well it's got to be a group yeah so, and i joined the group and I found this place and I said, wow, and this is a yeah. mile from my house. This is an absolutely beautiful spot here. I love it. It really, really is do. a beautiful spot. You've got some stuff cooking up here, right? There's a, I have a pig, yes I do. A pig cooking and and uh, I've heard there's going to be some somebody's cooking a fish stew or yes, something. Yes, a North, Eastern North Carolina fish stew and we're having some fried catfish all caught in right, this right here Continia in Creek. So <clears throat> this is the Woolly Swamp. Um, what is it, fishing and camping or something? Uh, Woolly Swamp Farms, fishing, camping, and, and sometimes hunting when he, he, he basically hunts himself. But he used to have this enclosed in okay. and had wild hogs and stuff in here. Okay. So does he, like, allow people to come in here? Like, does he charge people to come in here and fish or stuff? Uh, or how does, how does that work? Yeah, or is it just his it's private a, stuff? It's like $5 a day for his pond, his catch and okay. release. That's that's cool though. That's a that's a neat idea. Yeah, I seen coming in. That's a pretty good sized little pond up there with the pond. little. That was a state pond dug for to make the bypass. Oh, okay. That you come in here on. So we uh, in around our area we call them borrow pits. Right. Where yeah. they borrowed the dirt out of. That's them. what it is. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you you putting on the little event and it seems like everybody's having a great time. Well, they are, and and it's a beautiful place and. We want to invite everybody to come at any time. Uh, if you're going north or south, south or north, uh, stop by and stop by and see Tony Maduras, Woolly Swamp Falls. I'm James Grady, and I'm just a friend. Oh yeah, that looks good. So we're doing a little walk around tour of uh, different setups that people have, and uh, it's been pretty interesting so far. We just stopped by Hanging High Hammocks. But, uh, we're going to check this one out now. What I've got is a green hammock darien. It's a 64 inch wide, so it's a wider hammock than a lot of them. Most of the ones I've put them before around 58, 59 inches. I like the 64 because I can get more diagonal and I can get flat. This is the MTM, MTN 1.2, so it's their lightweight fabric. Um, and I did that mainly because I try to backpack and hike, so I was trying to just cut some weight, but I also wanted a wider width, and it comes in a wider width. It's only a single zip hammock, so that net stays on. You can't take it completely off. If you wanted one to come all the way off, I think there's Sparrow is that one. This is again in porch mode, so he can he can hunker down with the wind or the rain. So. Yeah. For this one, if I just want to get it down. Yeah. Now this particular one don't have doors on it. Yeah. So usually like right now, if I was sleeping at night, that's probably how I would keep it. I'd put a little more tension on here just so it doesn't wobble. Mainly because I just like being able to look out. War Bonnet Ridge Runner. Uh, War Bonnet makes a couple, a couple, you know, gathered in hammocks, but this is the Ridge Runner, it's a flat lay. 
uh, basically. This, this company's no longer in uh, business, but he, he customized, since it was so big, he called it the Taj Mahmoos. <laughs> um, but it's in porch mode now. This has a bug net. You can roll it up and pull it down. It's got little saddle bags in here. And you lay flat. You can put your, keep your beanies in here. Like me, you don't have no hair. So I'm new to uh, hammock. Period. And I've had this. I bought this after Grayson. Yeah. So that's been now that's how it's been so bad. I've, I've been in for maybe a dozen times camping. I've done a couple of things. I cut off a piece of tarp, put under it. So if you accidentally hit the ground with it, you don't. If you have a stick or something under it, rock, whatever. He just keeps it clean and he keeps it protected. Like and he that. gives me a place on the bike to put my camp and stuff. My bike stuff uh -huh. just lays under it. Uh -huh. And right now the tarp is just soldered back so you can see it. Otherwise you have to duck under to see it. This is just a window. When you get, I thought it was going to be colder this week, weekend. That's just one of those window reflectors. Mm -hmm. Defrost the window kind of deal. I lay in there yeah. when it gets really colder. But I think it's good like it is. I've got the, uh, so this is the XL version. It comes in standard XL, so the pad's the XL. And the pad is the ultra light version, so it's a little bit lighter. All right, well, I'm using our 40 degree Jackler Banner Shenandoah. They can either be top wheels or under wheels. The hammock is from a company called Trimpton down in Ohio. It weighs like 11 ounces with like one of the lightest netted hammocks you can get. What, is that what that material is? 1.2 hectares. Um, the tarp, rest this all come from uh, Wilderness Logic, uh, Marty out of Thomasville. Well, that little hammock walk around was really cool, kind of see everybody's little setups and stuff. Everybody's kind of broke away now and doing their own little lunch thing. And, uh, try, you know, it'll be dinner about 4, 4.30, and it's about 2 now. Well, I heard somebody say they were calling for dinner, and I know they're going to be doing the raffle, too. So, hit it up that way. See if we can get some of that hog they cook. Man, look at that. We got coleslaw, got a big old piece of fish. I got some good, good pork. That's good dinner. Next one is Crook Look. Zero two nine. I really appreciate James and the North Carolina Hammock Hangers for inviting me. And uh, I got to be honest, I was on the fence as whether or not I was going to be able to make it. And I'm so, so glad I made it. Got a chance to sit here and hang out with Tony over Hello. there. <laughs> this was a great event. And they did a great job. And this is a beautiful place here at the Wally Swamp Farm. But, uh... I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for this video. Um, in the morning, I'm going to just get up early and pack up and get out of here so you guys don't need to see all that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give that big thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down there. You can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week.